Chicago, my kind of town. Da -da 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 -da. Dun, 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 dun. They wildin'. People are doing things that they claim in the name of something else, and they just doing it just to be wild and dumb. Uh, today they break into the Lincoln Park Zoo in Chicago. And decided to take some animals. You know, and to me that just makes a zero sense. You steal some animals, release them on the streets. Uh, some of them are reporting that two tigers or something is let loose now. I can't trust that the brothers was around when them tigers was let loose. <laughs> and they was there when they were like guiding them out with stakes or something. No. Now, what's real and what's fake, we don't know. And I only say that because this <clears throat> is a situation... In which lies are spreading like wildfire everywhere. People love to report on fires and flames and everything and all of this stuff that's going on. It's just been terrible. It's been absolutely terrible. No one's talking solutions. Everyone's talking issues and problems and hurting people. And But what is you? A monkey? Who are you, French Montana? This dude comes out and starts marching down the street with a stolen monkey from the Lincoln Park Zoo. Talking about we stole a monkey and he trying to sell the monkey for $10,000. <laughs> Man, are y'all kidding me right now? <laughs> oh, my God. When you try to, you know, make excuses and allowances for people's behavior and you see stuff like that, you know, it's very disheartening, very disheartening. You know, um, I've had a hard time uh, dealing with processing how this happened and the lack of leadership I've seen and the people who were supposed to be leaders in this situation I've been watching them and they're not they're they're more like this is their stage you know and I'm like it's not your stage you know this is not this is not about that and there are some people that's out there doing it but I mean we know what you're doing on your level. I'm talking about leaders, people who have political power, people who have social and celebrity acclaim. You know, I mean, they, they're helping the best way they can. Some are. Others are trying not to damage relationships. You know, it's funny how Oprah is disappearing when things are happening in her city where she made her bones, Chicago. Uh, Oprah has disappeared. But let this be a black man who happened to be a homosexual who a cop put his knee in his neck and Ellen would have did a backflip and I don't know, jumped out of an airplane with a parachute, rainbow parachute, to do her show live in the air, she's parachuting down to talk about the injustice. But when there's an innocent black man who loses his life, Ellen is mom. She's she's mom. Mm, can't say a word. So I'm, I'm trying to say I don't watch Ellen anyway. Ellen degenerate. I don't watch her. 
But anyway, people show you who they really are. You know, people in the industry already told me she was a scumbag. So I already knew she was a scumbag <laughs> just from the, what people told me. She, she's not what you see on television. That's an act. <laughs> and people are showing you who they are. Because they don't want to feed the fire. Now, other people who they demand stuff from, like Tyler Perry and all that. Tyler Perry didn't put his neck on the line a thousand times. A thousand times, you know. And I'm quite sure he's like, I want to do this the right way when there's a plan in place and we can get the right people together and we can come up with a plan to get him get ahead of this thing but this thing is spiraling and nobody seems to want to take the helm and get in get some control over it which lets me believe that someone else is pulling some strings and telling them to sit down and let it happen for other political agendas now breaking into a zoo you don't know how to take care of these animals Something happened to these animals. They go out and maul. Let's say a tiger go down the street and maul somebody. You know, a kid or anybody who's out there protesting. They don't. The animals don't. He's an animal. You don't know what's going on. You don't know anything about political people. He's seeing a lot of activity, a lot of people out there on the streets. He might just decide to just go, go tiger on everybody. Then what? What's happening after that? Okay, next, this hippo that you've seen the picture of all over the internet is a fake. Okay, this picture came out in like 96 somewhere in Africa. They don't even have a hippo like that in the zoo. This is a photoshopped photograph of this hippo. So this is not real. There's no hippo running around in the streets of Chicago. But beware of the people who reported and start saying that it was a hippo going down the streets and that this was the photograph you know beware of the people who are pushing that agenda where they get that information from so it's a lot of misinformation that's transpired and people got to be very careful on who they're listening to, who they're getting their advice from, because it's dangerous. And at any given moment in time, your number's called. And once your number called in this game, it is what it is, baby. It is what it is. So definitely uh, get ahead of this thing. Don't get behind it. And don't forget, you can always support my page. My cash app is Carcino, K-A-R-C-E-N-O. And thank you guys for hitting up the stream labs. I saw all of you, J-Biz, all of you guys, man. I appreciate it. The love and support has been golden. You guys are stand-up people. I appreciate it all. Now... I'm going back to try to gather more information because we're looking at governors, politicians. You know, this is where we got to start looking into. The jobs that they don't want you to look at and don't want you to have, you got to start going for those jobs. And I'm not talking to five, six people. I mean hundreds, thousands of us need to start applying for police academies. Going in there in law enforcement, wanting to be lieutenants, want to be police superintendents. You want to, gotta want to be the governor. You gotta want to be uh, mayor. You gotta want to be alderman. You gotta want these jobs, and you gotta fight for these positions in office, so you can start making changes into the system. You see, that's how the other side won, and when I mean that, I mean the Skittles crew. That's how they did it. Why you think everything is on television, movies, every place you go, they got a cornerstone locked. 
You know what they did? They spread Skittles all throughout the Justice Department and all of these offices, clerk offices, county offices, everywhere and there was paperwork and laws. They put themselves there and for the years and years and years, like a secret society, these guys knew who they were. They kept hiring other Skittles and they kept moving them up the Skittle chain until they made policy laws, made them, got other people to agree with it because they had already had these positions all around the world. They put themselves there. They worked up and said, okay, we need to unify. This group's going to do this. This group is going to do that. We always want to Deep, we always want to delegate the work to someone else to do. And that's why we always lose. We don't want to do anything ourselves. We don't want to get involved. We're quick to tell somebody, I don't know. Why don't you know? Why don't you find out? Don't you have the internet? It's like right in front of you. Someone will ask you a question about something. You'll say, hey, Google it. And there'll be the phone right there in their hand. They got access to the internet. And they still won't Google it. But they don't want to ask you for the information. Now, are we going to still sit here and continue this process? Or are we going to get smart? Because it's time to get smart because you got to think about tomorrow. Because you can't keep burning stuff up. Pretty soon it's going to turn to ash. Then you're going to need the same people that you just burnt down all this stuff to come back and want to put their money back into your community. Right? After you didn't tore down their buildings and everything else. Now, look at what you're going to become. Look at what's going to happen after this. Let's just wait and see. I'm out.